three, two, one. Pick them up. Okay, cool. Uh, hello, everyone. Um, I just thought I'd make a new video um, showcasing this uh, bleeding edge feature that I just um, completed about uh, an hour ago. Um, so this idea actually came from a YouTube user um, via comment about um, how it'd be nice if we could reprogram the drum pad keys. Um, so I gave this some thought and I actually thought it'd be interesting to try. And uh, it started out as an experiment. I didn't think it would work, um, but it actually turned out to work better than I expected. Um, so I just threw this in. Um, it took me about uh, maybe half a day to, to write the code. Uh, so let me just give you an idea. Um, right now, these drum pads, you know, if if you just leave them as default, um, you know, right now we're on the uh, the 808 kick. Um, these by default just play, you know, random notes, and they might not be useful for some people, and it's kind of painful. Um, like you actually just use the keys, and it sounds better, right? Um, but the thing that's uh, painful is that, like, if you want to play. Let's say like um, you know clap sound or hi hat sound. Um, you actually have to switch channels and you have to program over it again. Um, so wouldn't it be nice if you could just you know remap these keys so that they're uh, mapped to different channels and maybe even uh, remap them to some sort of sequence of patterns so you could just bring it back on recall. Um, so I thought I'd make an experiment um, to do this and actually it works. So I've already pushed this. Um, so. The latest script uh, requires um, updating the optional script. So if you go to um, MIDI settings, it would require this um, this new script uh, for my MIDI, which is currently using the uh, MK2 MIDI user. And you can actually view the, um, there's a, another YouTube video that I put out uh, explaining uh, how to set this up. Um, okay. So um, let me show you quickly, um, you know, what you can do with this. It's, it's kind of interesting. So to reprogram uh, a drum pad key, uh, it basically just, you hold it down for one second until it starts flashing. So you see it flashing now. And you don't have to worry. Um, it doesn't start recording. So the initial, uh, initial silence and ending silence are ignored. Uh, so you don't have to rush to, you know, play like whatever key. And on top of that, you don't have to worry about uh, which channels you're on because um, it'll actually remember which channel you're, uh, you're, you're playing the notes from. So let's just say I want to play a kick pattern and I want to do something like this. Okay. And then I press the drum pad key. Actually, you could press any other drum pad key, but that'll end the, the, the recording. Um, so if I press it again, it'll just play back. And the nice thing about this is that, um, you know, you can play this. Oh, one uh, one warning is while it's playing, if you push it a second time, it'll actually play two copies of it. I don't know if this is a good or bad idea, but uh, for now, I'll let it be like this. See, so this is two playing at the same time. Um, so this is the simple way of using it, but here's the more complicated way. Let's say, um, you know, I did say I do record the uh, the channel that the note was played from, so I could do something crazy like this. Okay. And just to test it out, let's record it to a pattern um, and see what happens. Okay, that's recording. Okay, so that's the first one. This is a terrible mix, but this is just to get an idea to see if it works. Okay, and let's play it back. So, looks like it made it in. So it works, um, and you know you can also do it in song pattern mode if you really want to. Um, so it's just give you an idea of. Oh, and uh, the other thing is nice is it does remember the notes that's played. So if you had, uh, let's say the, uh, let's throw in piano keys. And my computer's slow because I have all this stuff running. Okay, so. Okay, so we can throw in a third one. Okay. 
sure that's going to sound good, but who cares? So that's just to give you an idea that um, it is possible to play chords um, if you want. Um, the only thing it doesn't do properly um, is if you like hold down a key uh, like this uh, versus pressing a key, it doesn't distinguish between those two. Um, and the reason for that is because the API itself does not have any ability to send a MIDI off uh, note. So I only record the MIDI on. Um, so it just plays um, you know, whatever key that's pressed. Um, so as a result, um, you know, these drum pads, they're only good for like, you know, sh uh, the, the default play length when you press it. Um, it doesn't work well for things like sustain, um, but you know, they're drum pads, so I expect um, that's what most people are going to use them for. They're going to be using these to play um, drum keys, right? Uh, sorry, to play uh, yeah, drum beats uh, as opposed to chords, but um, you know, the way I've set this up, you can actually use it for either. Okay, um, so if there's any questions, you know, feel free to leave any feedback. This is just a small snippet of the feature um, that's available through my screen. Okay, all right, take care.